going guys what I wanted to do in this video is to actually show you how you can modify the signal of an input on your system uh, without having to go through any kind of a major program rewrite now in a time when you may want to do this or may need to do this if you are replacing a uh, sensor with a different sensor type or if there has been some type of a modification to the system or even if you were uh, you know going through the selection tree writing a program and one of the uh, points that you need has a different signal type and this is something that is not very difficult to do in fact it is possibly one of the easiest things that you can do within CCT and uh, you know I wanted to show you how to do that in this video you know for you guys that are new now if you for example wanted to change the type of sensor for a zone temp a zone temp sensor or something like that uh, I'm going to show you a couple of things that you need to be paying attention to before you are able to do that process uh, for example if you upload a control program out of a system and CCT uh, there is a pop-up window that usually comes in asking you if you want to upgrade depending on the version of CCT that you are running if you do not do that you are not going to be able to make any modifications to your program okay uh, so you either need to be working in the same revision of CCT that the program was originally written in or you need to upgrade that program okay now I'll show you just what happens for example if I wanted to make a change and the signal for the zone temp sensor if I right click it you can see the only option that I am given is more details but let me show you something else right here it is telling me that this program is upgradable okay this right here and I can upgrade that program from the NCCT very easily I can simply go to tools and drop that down and select upgrade system okay it will then give me that pop-up window that should appear when you first open the program in CCT for example if you uploaded it out of a controller this is the screen that you will see I'm going to select yes and once it does that uh, you will notice a change of course the upgrade option has gone away and if I right click the input right now you can see that I have the option for modifying the signal I can select that and it will give me a full range of options for what I could potentially need you know if I had a 0 to 10 volt if I had 4 to 20 milliamp signal you know I can even do an SAB device you know all of that from this window okay you can see that here this is all of the options uh, you know and so it's a very easy process to modify the signal uh, instead of having to go in and actually uh, ch you know add a point change a point and then change all of your connections it's a very easy process that you can do okay and that's something that I wanted to bring to your attention and as far as like an output signal if I do if I select an output signal you can see here some of the options that I have I have the modify signal as well and you can do the same with it you know depending on the type of signal that you have the type of signal that you need within your system uh, for example if you have a VFD configured to run 4 to 20 milliamps but your output is configured to be 0 to 10 you can modify this very easily of course this is a uh, binary output so we don't necessarily have that option but you would get that that type of option with an analog output uh, but guys this is just a quick video that I wanted to do I thought that some of you guys who may be new to CCT could use this uh, be a little bit more helpful to you to make things a little more easier for you instead of having to like I mentioned earlier add a point and then going in and making connections which I've seen people do on occasion you know they would either add a new point select the type that they would need and then go through the program and break and all that kind of thing but guys it's just a quick video that I wanted to do uh, if you have any questions leave those down below let me know your thoughts down in, uh, you know, leave me a comment down in the description. Thanks for watching. Check out all the links down in the description, and we will see you next time.